big meeting for us. And Mike, myself, and my team, we work really hard on this meeting. A lot of overtime, a lot of late nights, a lot of Saturdays and Sundays. We went to Myrtle Beach where the meeting was. We put the show on and everything went really well. Everything went well. So as the show was over, as I was putting away my two computers, thinking, you know, maybe next time I won't try so hard. So being unappreciated can, can really challenge your commitment, can challenge people's commitment. So, but I wasn't immature, really. I wasn't acting like a baby. Because there's a name for what I was going through, perceived organizational support. I was suffering from low POS. It's not that I was immature. I mean, so, you know, I couldn't help it. It's a real thing. POS is a degree in which employees believe that their organization values their contributions and cares about their well-being. Okay. So it wasn't that I was in the future, but it really was. <laughs> so as I started to drive home, I thought of an incident that happened to me as a younger man. It just kind of creeped back in my head. Years ago, I drove a delivery truck for a building supply company. And one day I came to work and I had to make a delivery to a vendor. Well, in the parking lot, I got out, I went inside, I walked in the door, and when I opened that door, what do you think hit me? Like a ton of rats. The smell of vinegar. I mean, it was strong. So I walked in, I asked the receptionist, you know, hey, I'm here to make this delivery, and where do you want me to put this? And she said, hold on, I'm getting the plant manager, he'll tell you where to put it. So I went for him to come up, and I looked, and I said, how do you put up with this? How do you understand this? And she said, what? I said, the smell of vinegar. She goes, oh, what are you going to smell? And I just amazed me because it was still at that time really, really strong in my house. So the plant manager came up and he said, hey, you know, just put it out back. He showed me where to put it. I said, it's amazing to me that you guys don't smell vinegar working in a place like this. He says, yeah. He said, we get used to it. He said, no, if it changed, if the smell changed, if it wasn't there, oh, I'd notice it. So, People get used to things. People get used to bad things. People get used to good things. People get used to things. And, you know, vinegar is pretty important. You know, it was the vinegar plant. It wasn't the hoses that carry the vinegar through the machine plant. It was the vinegar plant. Right? It wasn't the bottles that the vinegar goes in the plant. It was the vinegar plant. <coughs> People get used to things, even very important things. Right? So then I started thinking as I was driving, you know, I've been I, I, doing these meetings. I was given a lot of really good opportunity to do some really great stuff to step outside of what a normal situation, a normal department would do for a company. I started realizing that, boy, I learn a lot. I get a lot of exposure to things. I get to travel. Then I started thinking, boy, the people that work for me are just awesome. I really started thinking, boy, I wonder if you got used to the smell of vinegar. Was people not appreciating me? acting like a, uh, an immature person because I didn't really appreciate you. Or was it me not appreciating those around me? And in the, in the case of smelling vinegar, there's a name for that too. It's sensory, sensory adaptation. And what that allows the people at the vinegar plant to do is the way our senses let us know when smell is not dangerous and stops identifying it so our senses are not overloaded with the coming information. So it's a physical thing that we get used to this. Our bodies are so then I started thinking, boy, you know, I really better appreciate what I have. I pull over, slow the sentence of email, start making phone calls. I started thinking about 
people I worked for me, and how fortunate I was to have them. Top 10 reasons people leave their jobs. Number one, unappreciated. If you feel unappreciated in your current job and may consider quitting, it can be challenging to give your all to a role and continually feel like no one sees the value of your work. When I started to drive home, I felt that I was in that position. By the time I got not very far down the road, I realized that I was as guilty of it, or more guilty of it, than coming at work. So, knowing that, life is full of options. You can change the spin up. You can learn things. You can become more valuable to your company. You can start underperforming. You don't know what you're doing, or you can quit. And that's legitimate. Sometimes the road ends, you have to go somewhere else. So, it was a lesson that I learned through a life experience. And it's real to me, and it stays current to me. And I have a little bottle of vinegar on my desk. And people will come by and say, hey, what's that like? And that makes it very easy. Story. That's not what it's worth. So thank you all very much for listening.